Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 11 of my Days Gone Let's Play series. So our next objective, when my dog stops barking, is to go look for Lisa. Man, this girl, dude, is just screwed. Oh, Ricky's the, uh... Oh, I can do missions for her. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not looking to start shit today. Just mind your store. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Okay. They literally just charged me like 50 bucks to do that. Whatever. Don't get in my way. Oh, she's here. Hey. Do I gotta go around to this side of the bike to talk to you? Oh, no job available. Okay, whatever. Come on, move it. Shit. Make it Shut shit. up. You open or what? Fucking over these idiots. Uh. Air up. How do I get out of this hell hole? Over the Doom Bridge. Crap, it's gonna be dark by the time I get here. Shit. Let's do it! This will probably be one of the last episodes I record for the day. I might record some more when it gets uh, after my kids go to bed, but I don't think I'll record any more today. I'll probably uh, maybe play some Call of Duty. Try and get my tears finished because a new operation comes out tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it. But I have been enjoying this game a hell of a lot. So. See if we can find Lisa. Oh god, there's a lot of freakers there. Crossbow bolts are affected by gravity, good to know. I mean, I figured they would be, but, you know, some games they just aren't. So, you gotta, you know. All right, I'm here. Oh, it's O'Brien. Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 it's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, they'll order without question. You're all the same question. team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help. Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. All right. Do you want me to put a tracker on one of these motherfuckers? Is that what's gonna end up happening? Brian. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, 
I will see what I can do. All right. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Ride to Nero LZ. Great. Let's go. Drifter. Brian. Yeah, I'm here. What are you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just go. Don't lose it. Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you I'm Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. I'm going to try not to, I guess. Come on now, can't let him get too far ahead. I'm slowing down. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot?! Remember, you can't let them see you. Right, all right. Finally. Jesus. Not that it matters, because if, if they see me, I'm fucked. Like, they've got impenetrable armor. I need the area secured now. Standing by. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. The wavelength recorder is sent to the channel we use to record data. It'll record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sites so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Hope we got enough Place to one of them on their healing. Most all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I want to find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. What the hell are you guys doing? I saw something. Ah, you did. Like Randy, you. Shit. Never notice. All right. That was close. Did that really make me fail that, saying I was too far from the researchers? I could fucking hear them talking. I was basically next to them. I could suck the fart from their fucking asshole at that distance, nearly. Field note 2071. Checking the traps at site 14 
Alpha, I have confirmed a large male subject with confirmed albinism mutation. Subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spreading rapidly. So you're saying they're going to get stronger? was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. All right. Brian. O'Brien. God damn it, he did it again. Well, Brian, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Alright, well, that was interesting. Probably fucking using us. It will. It's a bit of heavy heart. And I report six deaths and two injuries from my campus. Shit. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down and wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Okay, this is gotta be it. Please, this won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. She's gotta be out here somewhere. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. They're killing us off. So they can finally emerge from their gopher holes. Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Alright, where are you kid? Into the shed. Lisa, where are you? Lisa, God damn it, where are you at? Oh, you gotta be here somewhere. I'll tell you what, it isn't great. around here somewhere.
through here. Yeah, this will do it. Inside here. I didn't get the clue, but it doesn't matter. I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests. No Lisa in here. No! I hate that. I accidentally walked too close to it and it triggered the animation. I want to. No! I just want to. I want to pick up the scrap in the fucking corner! Fuck it. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. It. That sounds like something she would write. Thank you. I gotta try and get the fuck out of here. All oh, right. I'm sorry, developers, but this is very annoying to walk a cunt hair close-ish to it, and it triggers it. Someone's getting attacked. Got it. Oh, my daughter's in here talking to me. Hey, darling. Okay, she she let our our pug in. Oh, you hear some snorting? It's the pug. Let's go! Oh my god! Whew. What is this? Is it Boozer in the Lost Lake Infirmary? Can we just fast travel there? Not fast travel in combat, of course not. Am I in combat now? Yeah, that's sweet. We can go... Fixing my chair. Hey! Shh! Well, can you just... <laughs> Give me a sec, I'm gonna let her out. Sorry, my daughter's talking to me. I have to cut this episode short because she keeps coming in. That's just how it's going to have to be. I mean, everybody's gotten a few hour episodes, or nearly an hour episodes. Oh, oh! I thought the game crashed. Hey, hey, someone's here. Let's go. Open up. Open the gate. Hopefully, this mission isn't very long. Because my daughter, being so little, tends to chat a lot and doesn't hop out. She's not old enough to know, like, what I'm doing, so she just wants to keep talking. And that's probably what's going to happen, so... If I end up having to stop the episode, I end up having to stop the episode. It's just one of those things that happens when you're a parent. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh. Booze Man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Yeah, Boozer... Hey, and you can't be in here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. He's dying. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. <laughs> They're never enough. Oh, wait a second, you said that I, I said that we would try. <laughs> Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon, no, Deacon, there's, uh, you Deacon, know what? There's Deacon, something I can do about Deacon, this. Stop, I can get stop. What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. There is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please. 
Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. Well, that's not good. Not good at all. Oh, fuck off, you fucking absolute so, tossbag. You gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp. Telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane is doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. Uh, you getting it? What was I doing? Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold <laughs> full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. You know. Where? With, uh, hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. I was an escort. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak -alikes. Oh, Shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes. Okay, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Well, that is helpful. But he seems like he hates me. Is it a trap? Is the question. We got a new skill as well. Awesome. Alright. A lot of infestations. Quite a bit more map. Revealed now. Alright, well. Anyway, guys and girls. It's going to be the end of this episode. Shit. But if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, boys.